All right, welcome to this Friday's WDFN.com Friday Face-Off. It's Eric Chase, Matt Shepard. We're glad to be here. We're glad you're here. You can tell us what you think after we get our viewpoints out there. We're going to head down to Florida for baseball, but we're not going to Lakeland. We're going to go wherever the Marlins have spring training. It's already... Jupiter. Jupiter, Florida. Uh, it's already going to be a bit of a circus with Zambrano and Guillen and Reyes and Hanley, but there's a story about, is it their president, one of their yeah. executives? Yeah, it is. This Samson guy comes out in an article in some uh, art, some magazine or newspaper in Miami today that says, now that we've got the stadium built, I'm part of the 1%, basically best fans and called Miami and stupid. And there's also a quote out there from uh, Jose Reyes that says, listen, I'm going to sign here as long as you give me $1 more than anybody, than anybody else. else. Ugh. Let it go, Shep. Let it go. Well, Dave Sampson's an idiot and should be fired. I mean, if, if the, the owner, Loria, who owns the Marlins, had any ounce of dignity and sanity, he would fire his team president. He didn't say it to a paper. He said it to 75 individuals at a little luncheon, telling them that they're the smartest 1%, that Miamians aren't all that intelligent, and he literally said, I don't care if nobody comes, we still get the money. They had a new stadium built for $600 million by public funds, and now this guy is talking this way. We hold our standards high for athletes. LeBron James, I didn't like the way you did uh, Cleveland and handled your whole Miami situation. I didn't like it either, Eric, and people ripped him. Dave Sampson should be massacred in the media down in Miami, should be fired from his post, and there's not a Miami Marlins fan or Sports fan in general down there who should give them one dollar to go watch their product this year. All right, let me hit the other side of this with Jose Reyes. We knew he was always, always kind of greedy. Did you get on him last year when he shut it down after he won the batting Big title? Big time. Shut He's it a selfish player. Yep. Yeah, so Miami, the Miami Marlins, should expect when Jose Reyes tweaks a hamstring, a hamstring sometime <laughs> in the middle of April. For and him it'll to, happen. For him to be out 40 <laughs> games or so. Because remember, you gave him all that money. He wanted $1 more than everybody else. We know athletes want as much as they can get. But for him, it was ego and principle. And it justifies everything we've always thought about Jose Reyes. Be careful what you wish for. Uh, we all saw the Philadelphia Eagles last year. A cautionary tale to collecting large amounts of talent. The Marlins have enough talent to win 90 games and win that National League East this year. But when you got all those crazy personalities led yeah. by Jose Reyes and his greed, his selfish, me-first attitude, and when he inevitably gets hurt and shuts it down for longer than you expect him to, he's not rushing back. Don't expect 90 wins. Maybe they're not even going to finish 500. Maybe who, who wants to be his teammate? Hanley Ramirez moves from short to third, and Hanley Ramirez is a selfish player too, but mm -hmm. a good one, good shortstop. He moves to third base to make room for Jose Reyes, who comes in and says, I want $1 more. This is not trailblazing. It happened with Chuck Daly down in Orlando where he said, I want to make $1 more on the road than Pat Riley. In his contract, he got two country club um uh, ability, whatever you want, to, what, memberships. He got two cars in his contract situation and stipulated, I get one dollar more on the road than Pat Riley. Listen, guys like Nick Saban and uh, LSU's head coach, um, uh, help me with that. I just Les lost Miles. What, Les Miles. They are within two percent of one another every single time that they negotiate their contract. Every single year they get paid, they get two percent with one another. It's not unusual, but they've been ripped for that. This guy needs to be ripped for it too. The president of the uh, of the Florida Marlins, all the players. It's going to be an exciting series. Been sure. This is why I'm going to get some premium cable and watch Showtime when they run this series over the summertime. <laughs> and it, Comedy Central. It's going to be a circus. Which is the worst issue? The worst issue, in your opinion? Jose Reyes being egotistical and greedy, or the president calling out all the fans he expects to come to that brand new ballpark? Let us know what you think. WDFN.com. It's the Friday face-off. We'll talk to you next week.